Hi. I'm documentary filmmaker Richard Orchid. During the late 1980s, one creative force in Hollywood changed the way people saw action, especially martial arts cinema. Francis Allen Sledgewick, known as Frank Sledge to his millions of fans worldwide, rewrote the book, creating a whole new chapter in martial arts for an entire generation. Now, most of us know Frank for his signature martial arts moves and his dynamic action sequences. And most of us know Frank as an actor instead of as a real person. Well, I wanted to find that real person and to find out what had motivated him to become the vital force that he is today. I wanted to get his reflections on his extremely influential career. Well, I got all that. And I got a whole lot more. This is Sledge. Frank Sledge is huge. He's the, the biggest, sexiest, hottest action star on the planet. <laughs> Frank's the man. Frank is the number one everything on this planet right now as far as show business goes. I'm so proud of him. Honored to have worked with him. He's incredible. Uh, Richard Orkin. Film. It was back in the summer of 1985 when I saw my first trailer for the Frank Sledge movie, Blood Fight 2. It is a memory that is etched in my mind forever. Thank you for coming to my island for this momentous occasion. You are the top fighters in the world. Some of you may die. Let the games begin! Look out what it takes to be a champion. Blood Fight II made Frank a star, but his career began much earlier in the small town of Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin, under the watchful eye of his childhood dance instructor, Samantha Jones. Let me tell you about the first time I, I ever met Frank. Francis. I got a story I won't tell About a time gone by that I knew so his mommy and dad brought him here to me. Well, actually, left him here with me. He came in with a perfect turnout. I'd never seen anything like it. I think his mom and dad thought he was just bow-legged, but actually, he always had a lot between his legs, even when he was a little boy. He was really wonderful, even as a child. Dance to the music of the monkey time. Nothing else but a one track mind. That's the time I'll always treasure. It's a part of my life. In no time, Frank became Samantha's star student, headlining in over 50 productions, including the lead in his senior class musical. Frank was becoming quite a hometown celebrity, and as his talent grew, so did his ambition. At 18, he landed a spot with a famous traveling dance troupe that took him to a land where dreams come true. It, yes, Frank wasn't an actor. I mean, I met him in a club. It was a dance club, but his dancing ability was phenomenal. So I knew, you know, making movies, by watching him, he could handle any kind of fight scene or action that we threw at him. I mean, movement's movement, right? Of 
in this business is marketing. Frank's onstage charisma night after night, that left no doubt in my mind that he could move an audience. I mean, I knew back then he, he had what it take to be a star, but, you know, the name would have to change. I couldn't put Francis Sledgewick on a box and expect anyone to buy that. Are you kidding me? I can't sell that. Well, who's Frank Sledge anyway? He's a nobody. Why would I want a nobody in my film? What about Daniel Bernhardt? John, I told you, Bernhardt's not available. All right, we've been over this. I'm not doing it. Look, it's got kung fu in it. You people love that stuff. My people? I, I don't get it. Why is it just because I'm Jewish you assume I love kung fu? How, how many Jews do you know that love kung fu? Come on, John, I didn't mean it like what that. What difference does it make what kind of martial arts the Hebrews do? I'm just saying I thought we were a team here. I mean, couldn't, shouldn't you consult us on this? We've made a lot of concessions already. Well, we sure to get a poster made. We, Who's we, writing this cheesy copy? Uh, look, we are a team. I'm not trying to cut you out of the loop, but I got to get some stuff done. Some decisions have to be made. It doesn't matter, OK? The point is, how are we supposed to justify a brand new actor playing the same character in the sequel to a movie that we have already produced? It, it, it doesn't make any sense, Russell. Christ. Look at you. You look like a completely different person. I know it may be hard to trust me considering the extensive facial reconstructive surgery you went through after the last blood fight we sent you on. But that doesn't change the fact that you're the one person that can save your brother. Now go to Tang's compound, defend your honor, serve your country, save your brother, look different, but be the same. Good luck, son. Frank's a dancer. Uh, that's my first problem. Uh, he, at least Bernhardt was an, an actor and, and a fighter. Frank's a dancer. Yes. Yes. And a dancer limited on grace, really. Action! Yes. Yes. Cut! Action! Yes! 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 And action! Yes! 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 Cut! 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 cut. Can you not see through that? I can't. I can't. I pop. You can sorry. see, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next time you hit him, no. when he lets his guard down, hit him harder. Frank was hired because he was supposed to be physically able to, to handle the action. He, he's not a, a great actor or, or even an actor at all. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to handle most of the action sequences either. So they, they, they tried using a stunt double, but I guess that didn't work out too well either. And action! Oh, oh God. Medic. Focus. And just release. Oh. Nice and smooth. Yeah, you want to oh, Is there any way, could we, could we get me in oh, a, maybe a green suit and we help. could, I could help him? You know, I could, I could be back here in a green suit and then in post you could take me out? Production was in a financial crunch. They couldn't afford another stunt double. If they didn't finish this movie, the studio was going to be out tens of thousands of dollars. Frank going to have to do his own stuff. A uh, breakaway base is, is uh, traditionally, it's uh, 0.3 millimeters. Uh, those, are, those are 18 millimeters thick. So uh, th they're about uh, 46 times thicker than what you would like, ideally. With this next scene, I just want to address any concerns you may have and then tell you about my concerns. Are there any concerns you have? I have few concerns. The shot has to be pots breaking. Do you understand? If you don't get it right in two takes, you're going to be breaking air. And that's similar to breaking wind. That's worthless to me. What, what do we do now? I mean, I, 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 I can solve that. And action! Yeah! Cut! Uh, Cut! That's what you want. What the hell's wrong with you guys? They're supposed to say, go, hit the right one first. What are you, dyslexic? Frank? I, Frank? I, you go, pow, pow, spinny thing, pow. It doesn't do me any good to have Asian Master come up and break pots while you're watching. The acting was new to me as well. And in some ways, a lot more challenging than the action. But I think I did a good job for my first time out. We only did one little close-up. You still all right? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I don't really have any lines, so. It's going to be a thin Yeah, working with Frank required a real sort of dynamic reworking of the dialogue. It basically had to cut all of his lines. 
I, mean, I think with the exception of Arnold, he's probably got the record for the lead character with the least amount of lines, you know, with the exclusion of the non-talkies, you know, Buster Keaton, Harple Marx. You know. <laughs> Frank didn't catch on quite as fast as we'd hoped to the acting either, but at least we could always depend on his raw, natural talents. I mean, why does it have to be like full naked ass? I mean, what do you want? Jock strap ass? What else can you wear that shows you? No, I mean, when, uh, in, in Chippendales, we show a lot of ass. We don't always take it all off. Okay, and people get pretty aroused by just me in an underwear, in a tight thong type you thing. And you do look good in underwear, I understand that. But it's common practice to get the ass shot. The male ass shot is what sells in the foreign market. Oh, this sells. That's it. So you are really gonna go? This isn't about your brother. It's about you. He's gone, dead. And the company is just messing with your head to get their mission accomplished. And if you go to that damn island, You'll end up dead, too. Come on, the guy's a dancer. <laughs> OK? I mean, he's not going to win an Academy Award here. And, um, you know, whereas, you know, I probably will. Come back to me. Come back to me. You know, I'm, I'm a serious actor, and, and Frank is, you know, kind of a, a joke. I, I swear, I used to get a letter from him every single day, and it had little kisses and hearts and little hugs. And it always said that he he just didn't feel like he was doing well enough. He would work really, really hard, and, and just not everybody loved him, and not everybody thought he was great. He always wanted to please everybody. And I just would say to him, Francis, you can't please everybody. Not everybody's going to love you, but your friends, they will always love you. I'm sorry, Russell, you know, I gave you this chance and I feel like I'm messing up. You know what? Just don't think about it now. We'll just get through the scene and, you know, we'll move on. Don't just don't worry so much. Yeah. All right? John's yelling all the time. Hey! Hey! Oh, so glad you're here. You too. This is wonderful. You look great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Do you know, uh, Russell... When I moved to L.A., I met Glenn. He was the choreographer for Chippendales. And he took me under his wing, and we've been inseparable ever since. He choreographed my first one-man show on Venice Beach, street dance. Yes, yes. Uh, it was so much fun. It was great. It was kind of like dance through the ages. Dance through the ages. Yeah, all different. Disco. Yes. Hip-hop. Medieval. Medieval. That, that's, that was wild. Well, that one. Yeah, with all the armor. Yeah. It's great finally meeting you, you know, the way Frank talks about you. Well, he I really love you. I love Frank, too. He's a great guy. So I'm, I'm hoping you might be able to help me out with something. Hmm. It just seems to me his, he's off, you know? His fights, he's missing punches, his reactions aren't quite there, he's late. I mean, I've seen him perform, I know how, how good he is. It just feels like there's, there's something missing, you know? He seems off. Hmm, I'm quite shocked by that. I mean, yes, Frank can be a little blocked at times, but he's never not on the beat. Frank is always on the beat, and um, I, I'm assuming you guys are giving him the proper counts and everything. Counts? What do you mean, counts? Counts, rhythm, the beat. Frank is a dancer, and a dancer dances. One, two, three, be there. You know what I'm saying? Frank needs to hear the music. If he hears the music, then he'll sparkle. I'm basically Frank's metronome for life. You know, I help him feel the beat, count the pulse, sing the body electric. He just needs me around, you know? He just needs me around to help him out with those kind of things. And now I'm here to show him, show Frank that the action is just like the dance. It's just like the dance. Five, Five six, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Great. Ah! Great. Ah! 
When Glenn arrived, things changed. I mean, we saw a transformation in Frank. That confidence that he was lacking for a little while, and uh, just getting on the set now to watch Frank is, is really inspiring. I go down there sometimes just to, you know, watch Frank be Frank. It's really, truly, it's amazing. That's it. That, that's metal by fire right there. That's what I was talking about. That's the movie right there. Blood Fight 2 made Frank an international star, breaking box office records in Burundi and Iceland. You were the biggest, the biggest action star in the world. The cover of Inside Comfort. The cover of Black Belt. The offers were pouring in, as I understand it. How did you, how did you cope with all that? Well, it's not a question of uh, coping, I don't think, because you know I had it all. I would go back and do fundraisers for Samantha, uh, my original dance instructor, for her little studio, and just have a blast. You know, friends would come in, we put on a musical, and it was a great great time and that that was it I had it all family friends fame fortune it was it was the best people wanted Frank's time and talent obviously he wanted to explore that I don't blame him you know get bigger movies better offers on the table he, he wanted to go that's what he had to do and I understood he got too big for me my second film below the law was the first of a three-picture deal you know, there was a lot of money, a lot of power, and when you're 21, things can really go to your head. Below the law, New York City, 1988. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm on to you, Jackson. Vinny, you have no idea who you're dealing with. And these people are bigger than us. Oh, you, you think you're tough with all your, your chop suey crap. Look, you can spend the rest of your whole career, and all you're going to come up with is hearsay, conjecture, bullshit. You got nothing, Paisani. Nothing. Well, I've got one thing. The pleasure of kicking your ass. <laughs> My bad, my bad, my bad. Yo, can we get something to clean them up? Yo, yo baby, how you doing? Hey, you okay? You good? Because the script said I'm supposed yeah, to punch yeah, you yeah, at the yeah, end yeah, of that scene. Because the script said. Because the script said, right? We're supposed to punch you. Frank, Frank, you know the difference between an actor and a star? Actor's a slave, man. He does whatever he's told to. He does whatever the script tells him, whatever the director tells him. A star, you free, baby. You free. All this, the script, director, all that shit, all of this is here to serve you. Are you the star of this movie? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you got to act like the star. Well, what the hell do you want? Frank, can I get you something to drink? No, I'm fine, thanks. Appreciate it. No, 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 no. Um, yo, yo. Uh, you want some water? What kind of water do you like? What kind of water do you water, like? Water, water, get, get sparkling water. Give him the sparkling water, all right? Yo, 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 yo. What's your name? Sam. Sam, Sam, come here, Sam. Come here, Sam. Did we get some? Like asking for my order, you idiot? Come on, now. What, what standing here? What, what can I get you to drink? A double cappuccino latte. This mess is gone. They respect that. You put them in their place, they respect you. 
See, that's how you get things done in this town. You gotta be the king, all right? You gotta be the man now, baby. You've been anointed, all right? That's right. Whatever you ask for, they give you. Try. It works. Open the club, baby. Yeah, I heard that Frank had a little bit of an attitude when he first started out. I was, I was the other day. He became a beast. No attitude. You know, people say a lot of things about people in this business. I was playing a police chief, and uh, he wanted six words. Had to have them. They were not scripted. The problem is nobody called it in check. Nobody was able to stop it before it got out of hand. You know, if a huge star asks for coffee, they should get it to him as fast as they can. You know, it's that kind of a job. Went from the nicest man on the, on the, on the planet to, you know, an actor's nightmare. So we're going to start in tight on Eric here. We're going to pull back and I'm a loose two. Frank, just come in, say your talk, 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 and we're good to go. I just want to talk about the dialogue. Uh, it'd be cool if the chief said something about my character, like, I'm doing all these crazy things. Emotional growth. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's over the edge. Like, he calls me live wire. He called me a loose cannon. Great. Say that. Eric, say that to him, and then we'll just gonna shoot him instead of we just pick it up. I really don't think we have to call him a live wire at this point. He's done so many things. and blown up 20 cars, and children are dead. Good. I mean, just want the audience to know. Like, yeah. I think they know. Whatever Frank wants. Great. What about live wire? Have you had these? Yeah. Really good. Really good. Live wire. It's my script. Listen, Jeff. James. I know, right? Great. I read Passion and Glory. Right. It's my new script. Yeah, and uh, yeah. I'm thinking about making it. Yeah. I, I think it's, it's the next Passion Day. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Let me tell you something about Hollywood, okay? It's just words. Right. Right. You said really fast. Yeah, live wire. Live wire. Yeah. Live wire. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Live wire. Chief, wanted to see me. What do you think we're running here, Vinny? A friggin' daycare? It's a goddamn police department! I got the commissioner breathing down my neck. Look at this. I got three dead, three injured, one broken nose, one jaw, one arm, two destroyed police cars, a broken barbershop window, a truck full of bottled water. You're a live wire, Vinny! A loose cannon! What are you trying to pull? We have procedure here. Think those scumbags got procedure to follow? It's because they got the commissioner on their payroll. You may think they're above the law. They may be above yours, but they're not above mine. They're below it. Anyway, at the time, uh, everybody told me I'd love to work with Frank. He was young. He was hungry. Come to think of it, all they ever saw him do was eat. Silence is powerful, hmm? So I've been sitting here in silence, looking at you, each one of you, engaging you for the last 10 minutes. Why do I do that? To teach you. Why are you worth teaching? I don't know. For a little over a year now, I've been training with a very famous local acting coach, Jerry Moss, and he's training a lot of the big stars right now. Unorthodox methods. But, you know, I'm always finding techniques to really hone in my craft and make me a better actor. Uh, why am I an excellent teacher? Well, uh, I make people see uh, within themselves, and I will absolutely destroy you before I rebuild you. Um, that is the cornerstone of what I do. I absolutely destroy you, and then I rebuild you in my own image. Mom! Mom, come out from the rain! Hey, Edmund, I was in the barn. It's glorious out there. You're going to kill yourself doing all that work by yourself. I've got to work. Mama, sit. What the f Is this what we, is it, what, what script, what f script are you f idiots no. using? No, 
Uh, what the f do you think you're we, doing? The one we got. No, well, what the f did you, what, you Please, emailed, Patty, Patty, would uh -huh. you tell me? I, I emailed you what? You emailed me the script. Uh, yes, I did. Did I say uh, it sucks? In, in, in my email? Did my email include that in some sort of attachment or font code? I did King Lear at the Royal Shakespeare Academy when I was 15 years old. And you wore a beard. Yes, and I wore a beard, idiot. told. Of course I wore a beard. I was King Lear. Oh, f Your water. Frank Sledge uh, has done many of the things I want him to do. Uh, he's had some successes, which I want him to have. Um, is he there yet as an actor? I don't, that's a toughie, isn't it? So I just wanna block it through, count it, mark it, like yeah. we did earlier? Yeah, block punch, block punch, okay? Okay. okay. All right, ready? One. Yes, very block. good. Punch, yes, but I wanted to add this signature spin. Yes, good, like that I like that, yeah, yes. The... No, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 stop, no. That is not what I want. This is not Blood Fight 2. You know what that is? That's a big waste of my time. I need more than that. I need gritty. I need urban. I need I street. I told you, man. I told you. No spinning like this. What do you listen to me? I do 200 movies. OK, come like this. Go big like this. Block, kick. OK, like a man. Balls. Come on, man. Remember the beat, Frank. You're not remembering the beats. It's just rehearsal. Okay, no spinning. Ready? Action. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? You just hit my best thumb there. That's it. That's exactly what I want. Right there. Frank, Frank, Frank. That is exactly what I want. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Look, let's do it just like that. Okay, for that's real. What you want? I can sell that. All right, I can do that. Well, I tell you. Francis, or, or Frank, for some of you fans out there, he really started acting very foolish. I mean, really becoming an ass. You know my name, but meant to hurt you. I'm so in love with you. You know my name. The, the most tragic thing, the worst thing of all, was that he started to lose the beat in his work and in his life. This action hero stuff really started to go to his head. I mean, he really started to alienate people, his family, his friends. He became very aggressive. I mean, it was like Frank had gone crazy or something, like he was some mad, rabid dog, like he abandoned dance. And? Abandoned dance, he did. But the longer Frank was away from his dancer friends, the more of a meanie he became. But his fans loved it. And Below the Law was yet another huge success for Frank. The heart-pounding action, the bone-cutting violence, People had never seen martial arts like this before because this was real. I mean, really real. Jiminy Christmas. Here we are in Beverly Hills. Oh, Frank, I just can't wait to meet oh, your agent. Snap, dude. Frank King Sledge. What oh, up, Frank? Way back. Woo! They spotted you, Frank. <laughs> He's imitating your kicks, Frank. Yeah, Frank. It's crazy. Yeah. You always gotta, you know, respect the fans. The fans are your lifeblood in this business. I understand. I will have Jack call you ASAP. Yes, 4 p.m. Absolutely. Hi, yes, I'll tell Jack immediately. Thank you for calling CAI. Hey, Beth. Hey, Frank, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, how are you doing? You know, I'm just kind of, sort of just waiting by the phone, you know, waiting for Mr. Wright to call. My mother's a healer, 
and um, she has all this sort of self-help stuff that she like gives to me every morning. And one of the things she says is to just visualize him. You know, just the guy that you're looking for, like, picture him. Is Jack in? In the office. Shh. I can be sound. I will get Jack. Thanks, Beth. No problem. Hey, Tony. Hey, Frank. Um, Frank is here. Frank who? How's it going? You got any gigs lined up? <laughs> A lot. Too many, actually. Uh, between yeah. you and me, I'm here to tell him to slow it down. Really? Working way too much. I'm tired, you know? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> you know how it is, yeah. right? No, yeah, me too. Hey, 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 Frankie, the Sledgemeister. What's Mark's new movie? How you doing? Are you making a movie here? Listen, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I screwed up today. I, I gotta go do this thing. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bullshit thing, but, you know, agent's life, gotta go do the thing. So, you know, talk to Bethy, and let's reschedule for next week, maybe, you know, Tuesday? No, Wednesday, okay? Okay. Good for you? Yeah, you Wednesday. look good, man. You look shredded, you look buff, you know? Kicking ass, giving out haircuts. All right, I gotta go. Love you, mean it. Out for Vengeance, Chicago, 1990. Listen up, people! Listen up! This is a Frank Sledge film! Every one of you are here for me! I feed your babies! This is Frank Sledge wardrobe! Frank Sledge makeup! Hear that? This is a microphone! Frank Sledge is speaking on it, not you! If you don't like it, get on a plane! You can all starve. I don't give a shit. I don't want any of this fancy bullshit. I want a real movie. Uh, it all sort of went to Frank's head. But, like, that's never happened in Hollywood. I mean, Frank was only human. Few people could have handled his me meoric rise to fame. The biggest mistake he made, the saddest thing, was that he pushed everybody away, everybody that really, really loved him. And it's still really painful to talk about. Look, I've been meaning to tell you this for a while. You're starting to piss everybody off, and you don't even know it. Samantha is giving another musical benefit. She could really use your help. It would be a great chance for you to get a break and to get back to what's important, Frank. Important? Glenn, do you have any idea what is important? This film is important. I'm a Hollywood action star. What are you going to understand that? How do you think you got here, Frank? Samantha got you here. Chippendales got you here. You're a dancer, Frank. I'm not a dancer. Yes, you are. I am not. I'm a Hollywood action star, and Frank Sledge doesn't need you, he doesn't need dance, he doesn't need anyone. Then I guess you really don't need me. Well, I guess not. I'm out of here. Then I guess you don't need me. Fine! See ya! Turn it off.
script? That is not in the script. What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? Spencer, I can't do this like this. He does this all the time. Christ, what Jesus, the... when you get it together, you just come. <sighs> Why? Cry. What's her problem? He was pretty unprofessional. It made it very difficult to focus and do my job. At one point, I just asked if I could stay away from him until we were ready to roll cameras. No blocking, no rehearsal, and then I just walked away once we got the shot. I didn't want anything to do with him, actually. Come to the party. We're having a party. Oh, Frank, are, are you serious? Yeah. Come to the party. It's Frank. a suite. It's my suite. It's. You're, I want you at the party. You are. Uh, you're an idiot. You need help. You know that. No. You really do. You, you fucking need help. Come to the, I'm not coming to the. Oh. Why? Come on. Okay. What? Oh. oh yeah, Frank drinks. Frank hits it real hard. Phone rings, 3 o'clock in the morning. Be only one son of a bitch in the world. I don't even say hello. I just, what's up, Frank? <laughs> He's put us through a lot. He's put himself through a lot. He's put his liver through a lot. Well, there are two kinds of party animals. There's moi, and there's Frank. Now, I can handle my drugs. I can handle my drinking. That's why I could work on them. However, Frank couldn't. I'm telling you, this guy's ruining my goddamn picture. Frank? 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 Frank, open up. You have the key. Yeah. He said never to use it. Here's personal assistant, right? Right. Do you want to be associate producer? Frank. 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 Sean. Sean, what are you doing? Sean, what's going on? Oh, shit. Frank. Frank. Frankie. Hey, buddy. Get a wet towel. Get some water. Frank. Frankie. Frank. 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 Frankie. Frank. Frank. Hey. Hey, buddy, time to wake up. Time to wake up, movie star. Frank! Wake up! Frank! Hi, I'm Frank, and I'm an alcoholic. I've been sober for a little over three years now. And for me, alcohol, um, wasn't the only drug. It just kind of started there and spiraled into harder and harder drugs, and it's hard for me to talk about it now. Still to this day, um, I think about how it affected my life. Will, hey. It's a good meeting tonight. Huh? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, it was good. Great speaker. Good. How you doing? Hey, Frank. Doing well. Hey, Richard. Call me later, will you? Yeah, I will. I will. Don't forget. I will. Hey, Will. Hey, good to see you again, Richard. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Thanks. All right. OK. Hey, why didn't you call? Why didn't I call you about what? I you know about what? Um, I thought we about this. So I got, I was working last night. I, I had this canker sore and you know, I, I couldn't get my packs all this week. Well, 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 the program won't work unless you work the program. I'm your sponsor. Just call me. Call me anytime. I should have called. Called. It was a momentary lapse. I should have called. I'll, I'll call next time. It's over. It's, get rid of that. It's over. It's between us. Okay. You, you want me to get rid of it for you? I got it. 
Under attack, South Carolina, 1993. You got another letter from Samantha asking you to come to a fundraiser. She hasn't made any money since you stopped going and she lost the studio and it would really maybe help things with you and... Yeah, I... great. Do you want me to confirm? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you confirm there's some chocolate cake and go get me a few. Hmm? We all love Francis, and we understand that he cannot return our phone calls because he is a very busy man. But we really look forward to hearing from him <laughs> because then we can have our fundraiser and we can move back to the big space and the big school and we can celebrate and I can get out of this little shit hole. Sorry. Frank, I want to touch on a sensitive subject. Like Elvis, who also did karate, you gained a lot of weight at one time in your life. And like Elvis, you also did a lot of drugs. Everyone knew it. What kind of drugs were you doing? What, was it steroids or, or what? Because you, you were up and down with the weight so suddenly. I did them all, you know? Winstrol, Anabol, the testosterone, pit bull semen. It was the pressure, man. I had to get lean for the fans. Nobody wanted to see a fat Frank Sledge, man. Boy, oh boy, pit bull semen. How would you take that? Jimbo, Thailand, 1995. How do I know Ron Jimbo? He's my boy. I was his commander. I recruited and trained him for Vietnam. Now I've seen him do shit that'll turn you white. So I guess it gives me the right to call him my boy. He's been trained to survive. To live off the land. To eat things that would make a billy goat puke. I'm not talking about plastic bags, tin cans, beer bottles. I'm talking about the gnarly stuff, son. He has one objective. That's to kill. Period. You want to send your men in after him, you better remember one thing. A good supply of body bags. We were majorly screwed on the day that Frank Sled showed up. Oh, this was one of one many, time, no, but no, many, many days. It we was were, one of your yeah. greatest moments I've ever seen a director think on his feet. Great news, we're What do you mean, we're He's totally drunk. What? Completely. Drunk. What? You can't even stand up. I, I thought you had somebody I with him. him. I didn't have anybody with him. What he, the f is your job, man? I understand. I f***ed up. You gotta cover me. 
okay? This we got another problem. I don't know, Joe or something. Dallas, Dallas, give me the script. Calm down, calm down. You're one of the best directors in the world. All right, shut up. Don't patronize me right now. All right. If you don't need patronizing, I'll save it. What this man did is he had a scene with dialogue between Sledge and this prisoner where our sledge was carrying a big part of the scene, and he yeah, shows up. He was up. rescuing the guy. He was right, coming but he in and rescuing him. completely the... drunk. He couldn't even get from his trailer to the, to the stage, and the guy was completely oh. shot. All right, just let it go. Let it go. All right, watch your shoes. I got a, I got an idea here. I, just, I think it's really going to work. Joe, I'm Barry Simpson, producer. Hey, of course, you know Donna. Hey, Joel. Right. Joel, all right. Joel, Joel. Great. OK, great. That's what I said. Now, uh, here's what we're going to do. Um, you know, the scene is with you and Frank Sledge, but what we're gonna have you do is, I just think it's more effective for all these lines to be said by you. The, the, okay. both the speech between my, you and Frank my explained. Line. Yeah, so no, no, not your you're line. You're an American. Right, the whole thing, oh. back and forth. It's, it's you. It, multiple personality. You're, you have His a, lines? Yeah, you, you have a multiple personality, uh, in now. This is you yeah. doing your acting thing, man. Yeah. It's a big moment. I don't, uh... Was he supposed to be multiple personality? Well, he, he is, is now. Tested on the POWs, but sir, they'll be useless to us in the arena. They can't fight under those conditions. What about fight night? Well, I guess we'll have an inside advantage on the betting now, won't we? Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah! Ha ha ha! The hard part was remember trying to get Frank to 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 respond to the kid. Mm. He was like he couldn't he couldn't do it. He, didn't, he wasn't bringing anything to it. He was shh. Not an American, and I'm here to help. And I'm here to help. Let's, let's, let's try it again. Try it again. Just try it again. Just take a half a step. Whoa! It would have been a lot easier if he was drunk, say, only 20% of the time, because he would have remembered it, and I wouldn't have blocked it all out. Give him the drugs. What the drugs? Why the drugs? They can't fight on the drugs. For rats, look at me. Frank! Frank, focus. Come on! Yeah, all you needed was one good take with Golden. Sledge. I mean, that's the good Golden. thing about him. You could never count on 20 good ones, but you could pretty much prod him into one good one. You could pray for one. Yeah. I'll be back. Oh, oh, Guards! Right here, come on over here, over here. Ah! All right, all right, cut, 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 cut. Frank had gotten pathetic. It wasn't only affecting the people around him. It was affecting his performance as a Hollywood action star. His career was... was spiraling out. Control. You know, in the morning we have the explosion scene planned. Let's Oops. just blow off the explosion until the afternoon. The light's a lot better. No can and do. Why? And I got the water truck and helicopter coming in first oh, okay, thing. Okay, but have them come a little later. It's okay. Come it on. Costs a lot of money. You know how much a water very, truck costs? Buddy, very, an extra few hundred bucks for you what? You can do it. You Excuse can do me. You can do it. What? Excuse me. Just one second. No. You're what do you mean, me? You can do it. You're I, a I don't, I don't, I don't, Dallenberg, excuse me. We have a problem. What's the problem? Frank is unconscious. We'll wake him up. What do you mean? No, he's unconscious, unconscious. He can't talk? He can't talk. Can he walk? No. This is a walk and talk day. This is a, this is he dialogue. He can't walk and he can't talk and we're in a walk and talk. Wait a minute. This is a walk and talk today. I know, and we're not going to be able to do I... that, are we? Calm down. We gotta come up with something. What about 105? Chaps, my ass. 105 is a good scene. He's in the car. He's no, he's not. Driving. He can't drive. He can't, and we can't even double him. And he's got a scream. Okay. All, right, got... all right, all right, all um, right. Um, um, um. How about uh, 110? The interrogation? 110, the interrogation scene. I mean, the set's not lit. Well, that's okay. We'll just dress the set and call the evil doctor guy okay, and get him down get here. on it right now. Good idea. Somebody get me a phone. I'm gonna call my evil doctor. Okay, now listen, there's been a change of plans, okay? We're going to the interrogation scene. Manny, get over here. I need your set built right now. Oh, I love this. Feel it? Yes. Feels warm and tingly. Comfortable, huh? So comfortable that you will tell me everything you know. Oh, it's coming, this Yes. You will be spilling your guts. No, 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 no. Excuse me? It's all fucking bullshit. Don, I, you know, I don't think it's gonna work. Right don't, now. don't look at me. Don't look. Keep rolling. Just Stop don't look. Look screen. at him. You're the evil doctor. Just get him. Oh, I want a piece of me. Get 
they all want to be so what? No, 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 don't break the fourth wall. We'll dub it. He's a drug addict. You're the evil doctor. Come on, focus, focus. Just come on. They don't want to be so you. They want to be so what? The, the ship then? What did you say to me? I said they all want to be so yeah. <laughs> years back, I get a call. Come down to the Frank Sledge movie set. Stage 14, right away. We call that control. He's supposed to be professional. He's an idiot. I grabbed my gun. I uh, did what's called a, a running uh, skip, which is faster than a walk. Uh, but it doesn't alarm people. Mr. Sledge, uh, for some reason, was holding his crew hostage had uh, terrorized them I, for some unknown reason. The word on the squawker was, it's bad down there. So I switched from a skip run to a gallop. By the time I got down there, um, Angelina Jolie, the leading lady of the movie, had uh, taken matters into her own hands, pinning him down. I couldn't believe it. I, I looked at her, half hoping that a rafter would drop down on that bitch's head. She, in addition to violating a union rule, is taking food out of my biracial kids' mouths. Uh, I told her I needed to take care of matters from there, and uh, I took over Mr. Sledge's custody, and he uh, escaped. He was sick. And it upset me because I had no idea it went on this long. You try to help your friends, but they have to want your help. And sometimes you just have to love them enough to let them hit rock bottom. I mean, hit rock bottom. Below the law, out for vengeance, hard to stop, and Jimbo were all successful films. They made money, at least. But Glenn was gone. And Frank's personal life was going in the shitter. But as long as your box office is hot, that's all that counts in this business. They'll use you till you're self-destruct. And then when you no longer produce, they'll throw you away like a pair of soiled underpants. I'm sure that there's a lot of people that would laugh right now seeing Frank Sledge deliver pizzas, but this is the perfect job to get my life back on track. So it's got great hours. I got medical and uh, allows me to go to my acting classes and practice my craft. It's perfect. Gee, Frank, what made you realize you'd lost everything? When did you realize it was all in the crapper? This letter changed everything. I found it after waking up from a three-week bender, put on my own vomit, jacket haven't washed in a year. Just reminds you who your friends are. You can read it. Dear Francis, we all know you were busy and we're all happy for your success. I knew you were a special child ever since your first performance of the ugly, ugly duckling at my school. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. The school has been closed for some time now. I don't know if you know it or not. Honestly, it was hard to make it without your yearly fundraisers. Well, I'm just teaching a few privates from my garage. It's okay. It's nothing like the school, though. I miss the smiles on the kids' faces when they first learn how to do a jazz square or a pot de beret. We don't have much room to learn these moves now. 
Do you remember little Joey and Lance? They are doing so well. They always looked up to you. They remind me of you. I, I hope, hope this letter, letter finds, finds you well. well. Love, Samantha. I let a friend down. I vow I will never do that again. Hey, Frank, why don't you come and join us? I have to be the best Frank Sledge I can be. Jack's got a deal on the table, made an offer, and uh, I'm gonna go find out what it is. Hope it's big. Hey, all right, there he is. Jack. Frank, good man. Oh. Ah, I see you brought your posse, your girlfriend with you, sit down. <laughs> all right, I think we got something. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, it's a big deal gonna be you and this young kid who's very, very hot, I gather, right. right now. They want you. Yes. You give me the word, I'll make the call right now. Make the call. All right. Oh, there's one other thing. The money is scale plus 10. Take it or leave it. Take it. John Travolta. Robert Downey Jr. Karen Tom. Frank joins an elite group of celebrities who were given a second chance at stardom. And during the filming of this documentary, something amazing happened. Frank was given that second chance, and my cameras caught it all. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> oh, no. Never touch a white man's radio. What are you talking about, man? This is some good, funky stuff. Well, he's gonna get you a good, funky ass whooping. Cut! Frank, that was excellent. Thank you very much. All right, people, let's go. Moving on. Gotta love it, right? Crack action. It looks it's great. getting better, you know? Yeah, it looks, looks good. It looks good. Am I doing that stuff there? That's me in the middle there, right? <laughs> Would you want a cigar? <laughs> you want to smoke while you do this? <laughs> no. Yeah, come on, you go get him in there. You go get him, okay? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kelly, he's playing you. Frank, he's playing you, okay? okay? So we try it now, okay? okay? Very strong, half speed, and action. And cut, very strong, okay? Got it? Yep, no Okay, problem. let's go, let's try. Come on, we good. <laughs> okay. Are we going now? We shoot, uh, we shoot, we shoot, we shoot now. now. We shoot, ready? You guys all set, okay, good. Cut. All right, let's reset, please. And action! Cut, cut, cut. cut. Just take your time, Frank. You're doing great. You're doing great. Action! Cut, cut, cut. You guys are fast. <laughs> Cut, 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 cut. Frank, you're killing me. If they're giving me a signal, like a cue or something. Look, it's not that difficult. You're killing me. You're not taking this seriously. It's not me, Brett, it's Frank! Cut! I don't 
know. I don't know. Cut! Sorry. And action! làm gì con bé nãy giờ quay mười mấy lần rồi không biết uh, ai ai mà chờ, không biết nó có trả tiền cho cái hãng phim này không rồi ai cho nó đóng vậy ngu mẹ crazy day yeah, yeah crazy I'm sorry about this. I know it's taking your whole day. I'm... But when I get on a roll... I'm sorry, Frank. Break. I'm sorry. We gotta replace you. It's... It's, um... It's not me. It's, you know, the business. I mean, your acting... Your acting has been so on. I'm so proud of what you've been doing. Thank you. Unfortunately, it's... It's an action movie, and we gotta keep things moving with it. We don't have the time. It costs a lot of money. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Uh... We'll stay in touch. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Frank just couldn't get the job done, and so they had to fire him. And then during the recasting, uh, they came up with a whole new concept. They decided to turn it into a comedy. And that's when Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker came aboard, and I was out. That's why I don't have a poster next to me. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. I know, I know, Frank, but... Listen, man, you got two choices, so you might as well stay positive, right? All right? You didn't go out, did you? Okay. What step are you on, anyway? That's it? Jesus. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm kidding you. I'm a joker. I'm joking that you... I don't think I could get him a job right now as an assistant fluff... I mean, he's dead right now in this town, but, you know, you... Look at Madonna, right? Who, you know, I know, and I work with. I mean, she's had times where she was flat, you know, and she's come back, you know? I mean, it's all a question about hanging around. You just keep showing up, you know? And, and one day, all the other suckers are dead, you know? And you're there. I guess you have to bleep that suckers, right? It's a good word, suckers. They don't say it much anymore, though, because it's so, you know, it's, so, it's not PC. It wasn't just alcohol with me. To be honest, it was every drug under the sun, man. I just, and pot. I mean, if, I, if, if anyone didn't need pot, it was me, man. I just, I was so paranoid to begin. I used to have a, 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 a rear view mirror on my stationary bike. That's how whacked I was, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm just so paranoid to begin. I'm still paranoid, but at least I don't, you know, I don't smoke any dope. In fact, everybody was affected by my drug use. It was tragic until, until, I followed these steps all the way, and I made my amends. I apologize to everybody that I screwed up because of my whacked out alcoholism. I mean, I made my amends to everybody. And I mean everybody. Let it be me who comes to hold you when the world outside has been cold to you who sets you free let it be me mm -hmm. I can make you smile yes I understand you and I will come like 
no other woman can do who set you free I've come to this point in my life where I realize I have to ask forgiveness Frank all is forgiven I forgave you a long time ago your best friend is back you know AA a lot of good people great program acting class it's been a lot of fun but something's always been missing I'll tell you what's missing dance you're a dancer Frank I've seen hundreds of guys come and go through Chippendales but none of them none of them were as good as you because you're the best Frank you're a dancer and a dancer dances dance you know it's so far away from me now no 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 it's in there you just need a little tune up sober for over three years now and uh, these meetings have meant a lot in my sobriety and keeping me sober but lately my acting class has been helping me a lot it's been allowing me to open up in different ways and um, tonight I brought in a monologue that I'm working on in my class it's about someone who is going through similar things that we've all been through and I'm just hoping that maybe uh, you wouldn't mind if I tried it out on this audience tonight. Thank you. We all have the same excuses. Daddy didn't show me enough attention. Mommy used food as a reward. My uncle touched me funny when I was a kid. But you know what? It's all bullshit. How can you look at yourself here in the good old U.S. of A. and not rejoice? How do you know what you want is really what you need? Because I want this drink. Taste it. Is it going to stop the, the noises, the voices, stop the yearning for a while? The truth is you're no different than the people that surround you. We're all the same. Same emptiness, same despair. And we have that pain 
to bring us closer together. We were meant to give love, compassion, friendship, and we're not complete till we do so. That's why I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm gonna help myself by helping others. It's my only way out. End of scene. Love's so hard to hold Like honey in your hand Can you take me home From this broken town Hey, Frank! Frank, hold on. I have to do that. Good job. Thank you. That was unbelievable. I, I, I'm shocked. I, I feel like I just walked in on you in the shower. <laughs> Listen, thanks. We, we need to take a meeting, okay? Yeah. You got some time next week? Absolutely. Can you give me a call? Let me know when your schedule's free. Yeah, I can. Yeah, totally. Anytime. Thanks, Frank. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks, Paul. Okay. All, All right. right. I'll hear from you next week then. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Thank you. Thanks. I made the choices that brought me to the program, but. You know what? The program brought me to you, Frank, and you really helped me turn my life around. I'm serious. Thanks, but you know, it's the program itself. I'm, I'm writing again. I've been taking some meetings. Good. Matter of fact, uh, someone's here to see you. Frank. <laughs> Russell! <laughs> I wouldn't have believed it, man. Look at you. It's so look, good to see you. You look great. Yeah. Scoot over. Yeah, Let me have a seat. Yeah. Come you on, Russ. Do they look good? Jesus, I wouldn't have believed it. Frank, look oh, at you. Man, it's, what are you doing now? What are you doing? Actually, Studio's finally back in one of my pictures, Frank. No way. Can you believe that? Big studio guy now, huh? Yeah, I'll try in 20 years later. That's great. That's great. Who's directing? Uh, the director's a bit shaky. It's a first-time guy. You might know him, actually. Yeah. Will's directing. No way. Will, congratulations. Thanks a lot, Frank. Yeah, Thanks. Well, you got a star? Uh, kind of in negotiations right now. Yeah? With who? No, Frank. We're in negotiations right now. He is so loved by every dancer in America right now because he has created a new genre, the action adventure musical. Honey, all these children are gonna have jobs. Everybody's flocking to California. You know, they used to want to do the action thing. Now they know they gotta be dancing. They gotta be fighting and dancing. And, you know, Frank did that. Show me. This is a dancing program, similar to a program reality of the computer-generated world which enslaves us. The basic rules are the same, like rhythm, beats, what you must learn is that these rules are no different than a computer system. Some of them can be bent, others can be broken. Do you understand? Good. Then follow me, if you can. Katie and you are having a dance off. You're too fast. Do you think my being faster and more suave than you has anything to do with my body in this place? Do you think that's real sweat trickling down your nose? Wrong. Again. Are you doing? You know you're faster than that. Don't think that you are. Know that you are. Come on, stop attempting to dance and dance. Oh, Jesus Christ, Ethan Blue. 
Take a look at his neurokinetics, they're off the charts. Now that Frank has incorporated dance into the movies, it's, uh, it's now set the tone for everybody else. So now I'm going to have to incorporate dance. We're all going to have to dance. I hate dance. We meet again, Mr. Danielson. I've waited a long time for this. What can I do for you? You can help us to fulfill our purpose, Mr. Danielson, and we will help you fulfill yours. What is my purpose? Your purpose is the reason you are here. And reason is all we have. Except for purpose. Of, of course. course. I don't quite follow. Are you guys here for purpose or for reason? We all have a reason for our purpose and a purpose for our reason. It was our fate to meet again and our destiny to have such a fate. So is it fate, destiny, reason, or purpose? Why are you guys here again? We are here for this.
international celebrity endorsing products worldwide. Meow, what's your Frank Sledge? This is Ben Q. Zui Xing the Daga Da. What's he Huenyo? Ni Hue Shi Huenyo. Ben Q. Bringing enjoyment and quality to life. Sledges, uh, in my opinion, uh, is the most underrated action star of um, uh, this century, uh, without a doubt. A career reborn, an actor redefined, sought after by the biggest stars and directors in Hollywood. There is no doubt that. Frank will continue to wow his millions of fans for years to come. Just like Elvis would if he were still here. I know that I'll be watching. He is.